Hi everyone, I'm Jim and welcome to the review of The Anti Mother, the first studio record by the American metalcore band Noima Jean. Today we're celebrating the 15th anniversary of the record, so I decided to go back and see if it still holds up or not. My story with this band is quite simple. I've stumbled upon their music back in the year 2010 or 11. It was their first studio release, Bless Something. I've truly enjoyed its chaotic nature. So I went through their entire discography and I've been their fan ever since. Here's the lineup for this release, we have Corey on the vocals, Chris and Scotty on the guitars, Jake on the bass and Chris on the drums. The production is tight, it's clean but heavy, no loudness or no clipping, just the way I like it. It's the second album produced by Ross Robinson, he's a new metal legend, message is diverse, the songs are mostly about personal struggles, relationship issues, society, stuff like that. Structure of the tracks is between basic and advanced. Most of the songs follow that typical structure of intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, outro. Sometimes it's slightly different. And the music on this record could be described as a mix of metalcore, post-hardcore, mathcore, even sludge metal in some cases. The album starts with the song Vipers, Snakes and Actors and the first thing you're going to notice here is the drumming. It's stellar throughout the entire record. I love the groove, the speed, the intensity of the playing the double bass work, it all works, the drummer is phenomenal. Next is the bass, it's audible and it mostly follows the guitars. Sometimes the bassist plays his own lines, which is very cool. The guitar work, now this is my favorite part actually from the entire release. I love the groovy chunky guitar riffs, the breakdowns, but also more technical riffs even some mathcore ones here and there. Finally we have the vocals by Corey and he's straight up killing it. I especially love his singing, the cleans are so beautiful here. The screaming and growling is also on point. This track Vipers is my least favorite one from the entire release. I mean it's a good track, I do love the drumming, the chunky guitar riffs, the screaming. It's all fine, but it lacks the emotional impact of the next tracks. 7 out of 10, self-employed chemist, now this one is a banger, I love its more melodic nature, especially the clean singing is just so beautiful, the chorus slaps, this is a fantastic song, not the best one here, but it's a great one. 9 out of 10, birth of the anti-mother, this song features two guest vocalists, Holly and Camille, both female, and I love this song, it's much more chaotic and fast compared to the previous ones. I love the energy here, the intensity, the screaming, it's all great. I think this song would have been perfect if it weren't for the guest vocalist because their screaming and singing in the bridge isn't for me, that's the only part of the song I don't enjoy. 9 out of 10, Robots 3, Human 0, now this is the highlight of this album. It features Chino of Deftones and Cove of Seosin on the guest vocals. And I just love it with all of my heart. The music is also very deftonesy, I would say. This song is an emotional journey in which I love every single segment. The chorus, the verses, the bridge, just everything. 10 out of 10. Death of the anti Mother is the exact opposite of the previous song, which sounded very hopeful and melodic. This one is dark, it's evil sounding. It has that sludge metal vibe to it. I truly enjoy the guitar riffs here, the screaming the anger in this song, it's also the highlight of the album. 10 out of 10, Surrender Your Sons also features Chino and Kof, and in this song actually they lead this one with the vocals, the first verse is sang by Kof and the second one by Chino, I love their vocals, they are bringing more variety into the Norma Jean sound, but I must say that some of the Chino's moaning is not for me. It kinda gets on my nerves, but this is still a great track. I especially enjoyed the verses and the bridge. 9 out of 10. Murphy was an optimist, now this track is hilarious if you know Murphy's Law, where basically if something can go wrong, it will always go wrong. So I love the song title. This is actually my favorite song on the entire record because of how impactful and emotional the vocals sound in the verse and the chorus. I just love the screaming, the singing. The chorus is so catchy and memorable, it will always stay in my head. The only thing I don't enjoy about this song is the whispering section in the bridge. 
I guess the guest vocalist Chin and Kov are doing it. I wish it was removed, then it would have been even a better track. But I still think it's a masterpiece. 10 out of 10. Opposite of Left and Wrong. Now this is my second favorite song on this record. I just love it. The groove, the speed, the intensity, the vocals. It features Paige Hamilton, the founding member, the vocalist and the guitarist of the band Hemd. And you can actually feel that because he wrote the music for this one. Like you feel like this song is straight up from 1992 but it was mixed with 2000s metalcore, like it has that vibe to it. <laughs> it sounds like a song from Nitro Speed Underground 2 to be quite honest. I just love this one, I have nothing else to add, 10 out of 10. Discipline Your Daughters is another banger, I love it from beginning to the end, especially the clean singing. It's not a perfect song, but it's one of my favorite ones. 9 out of 10, and the final track and there will be a swarm of hornets features everyone, just everyone, we have Holly. Camille, Kov, Laini, Ali Pantera, only Chino is missing, I don't know why he's not here, he probably went home. So, this one has more of an advanced structure, I enjoyed the middle part of the song the most, where everyone is singing. Also the groovy parts were fun, but to be quite honest, this is my second least favorite track. It's great, but it's not on the same level as the previous 8 songs. 8 out of 10. To sum it all up, the consistency is stable and the flow is fitting, replayability. Yeah, it's an excellent release. I love it from beginning to the end. The highlights of this one are Murphy was an optimist, opposite of left and wrong, death of the anti-mother, rabbits free, human zero, birth of the anti-mother, and self-employed chemist. These tracks are bangers. What can I say? Norma Jean is a great band and this is one of their best releases. I find it quite funny how much I love the clean vocals on this release because when it comes to metalcore music, the clean singing is usually garbage, so I am like kinda astonished by how good it sounds here. That's all from me, celebrate the worship by spinning this record today, it deserves your love and attention. Don't forget to like and subscribe, follow me on my Instagram in the description, I will see you in my other videos, bye!